Yes, in this video, we want to look at the side effects of uh, propranolol, that is beta blockers. Let us look at the side effects or adverse effects of beta blockers. So, these are the beta blockers. What could be the side effects? So, what are you blocking? Beta. So, please tell what and all will happen if you block beta that much. If you tell, everything else easy only. Those only will become side effects. Bradycardia, that is the first side effect. Bronchospasm, second side effect you got, right? So, in asthmatic people, you should not give uh, beta blockers, correct? Because it will cause bronchospasm. You are blocking the beta, you understood, right? So, it cannot dilate. So, it will be bronchospasm. Then, what happens to the central nervous system? It is a sympathetolytic, that is like a parasympathetic. So, it will, it can cause uh, fatigue, depression, sleep disturbances, it's kind of a depressant, okay. Then coming to other things, let us look here. Beta, if you block, what and all will happen? If you block beta, glycogenolysis will not happen. That means there can be hypoglycemia. So hypoglycemia problems will be there, okay. So a person may not, there will be masking of warning signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. So, the person, whoever, uh, he will become hypoglycemic and he will not realize. So, so you understood, right? So, it will mask the symptoms of uh, hypoglycemia. So, you should be careful. Then muscle, muscle will become tired and weak. Why? It's so easy if you look at this diagram. Beta 2 will increase the blood supply to the skeletal muscle. Now, the beta 2 is blocked. So, the blood supply to the skeletal muscle will reduce. So, the muscle weakness and tiredness. That's all. Then withdrawal symptoms. Abruptly, if you withdraw beta blockers, right, after chronic use, then there can be angina. See, you are trying to protect the person from angina and suddenly you are uh, stopping beta blocker, then the person will get angina. Myocardial infarction he can get. So, you should not suddenly stop beta blockers. That's all. Is it clear, guys? It's not difficult, right? What else? Just one more thing you notice here, this beta 3 causes lipolysis. Now, if beta is blocked, lipolysis won't happen. The lipid profile, the lipids will build up in the body, correct? So, the lipid profile gets altered in long term. So, what happens? Uh, the person can uh, have coronary artery disease, okay? So, his uh, LDL will increase, HDL will become less, triglycerides will become more. So, all the, uh, he might get atherosclerosis, etc. Okay. So, let us now revise the side effects of beta blockers. What happens to central nervous system? Depression. It is, uh, central nervous system is depressed. If you can find a better word, please write that. Then, uh, bronchus cannot dilate. It will constrict. It will, there will be bronchospasm. So, you should not give beta blockers in asthmatic people. Heart, there will be bradycardia, okay. Then, uh, there will be more, uh, there will be less glucose because uh, beta 2 glycogenolysis full block. So, glucose level will reduce, the person will become hypoglycemic and the symptoms will be masked. Then, coming to skeletal muscles, they become tired and weak because the blood supply will reduce. Lipolysis will stop, so the person will build up a lot of lipids, LDL will increase, triglycerides will increase, okay. Then what else? You see any other beta here? That's all right. So, beta 2, if you block, all these things will happen. And one more thing is, uh, if a person is on beta blockers chronic, you should not stop it suddenly because he might get angina myocardial infarction because you were trying to protect the person from angina and myocardial infarction. Okay, that's all uh, for now. We have finished the adverse effects of beta blockers. Just see if you have got all these points into your head. CNS depression, bronchospasm, bradycardia. Don't give in, in don't give in variant angina. It will become worse. Hypoglycemia. Muscular weakness, lipid profile altered, withdrawal symptoms, okay, which can lead to angina, MI, whatever, okay. Got it right?
So beta blockers are what? You know all the beta blockers, right? We have seen the, them in the last video. Don't wonder what beta blocker is. If you're wondering what beta blocker is, then please go and see the last videos, okay? Thank you for joining this video. Bye-bye.